Hey guys, you know what time it is. It's time for Proverbs chapter 21, our daily wisdom dive. Now I think this chapter is really about peace, preparation, and prosperity. The chapter starts off by letting us know that God holds and steers the hearts of kings. That means he holds and he guides our hearts. And just like changing the shape of the bank of a river changes the way the river flows, that's how God steers the heart of a king, someone who is powerful and most likely uncontrollable. He basically changes hearts. And we've seen it happen time and time again in the Bible. He did it for Pharaoh towards Joseph, Saul towards David, and even Pharaoh towards the Israelites. Now, not only does he hold and guide your heart, but he knows what happens within that heart as well. And sometimes we justify ourselves and say that the things we did are good and that they came from our heart, but only God really knows whether the things that we did was done out of sincerity and humility or arrogance and deception. Treating others right and doing what is right is way more important to God than us participating in religious ceremonies and sacrifices. He could care less about these things because they don't matter if we're not doing what's right or treating people right. God cares equally about the things we do and what we don't do. A wicked person is destroyed not only because they love violence, but also because they refuse to do what is just. They show no favor and mercy to others, and the work that they do is for evil purposes and is considered sin. Be very careful of people who can't seem to get along with anybody at all. But when it comes to the pure, the work that they do is right, and it flows out of who they are. Now, work done in a hurry and where you've taken shortcuts only bring failure. There's no prosperity or success there. But good planning combined with hard work leads to abundance. Getting treasures through lying doesn't last and is a deadly trap. And wishful thinking without any work only brings frustration and disappointment. Doing more than desiring is what brings success. And if you want success, you also have to be disciplined and deny yourself. It's always business before pleasure, friend. Now, of course, there will be obstacles along the way. And a wise person knows what to do to overcome them, but they also accomplish things that seems impossible to others. And they know that in getting to their destination, they have to be open to learning. But they do not wait to learn everything from their own misery or the misery of others. They simply learn as they're instructed. So that's my quick rundown of Proverbs chapter 21. Let me know what stood out to you and join me here tomorrow where we take our dive into Proverbs 22.